Hello, and welcome to our latest Trotic video. Today, we are here with Francois de Roubaix. Francois has been in the engraving industry for more than 50 years, so probably longer than I've been around. So, Francois, we're really happy to have you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the invitation. My name is Lynn van den Berg. I'm the sales director for Trotec South Africa. And today we're going to be showing you our U50 fiber machine. This machine traditionally is for marking. So it would normally be on marking of stainless steels or plastics. But today we're also going to show you something a little bit different. We're going to be showing you deep engraving where you can actually use the part for maybe a die cast for a name badge, a symbolic symbol, something like that. So it's really quite unique in that, in that matter. But um, you know, what market would use this? We could look at the industrial market where you could mark assets either directly onto the asset by moving the machine to the asset. For example, a big a pump, you wouldn't want to uh, take the pump to the machine, you'd rather take the machine to the pump. That's one item you can do. The other thing is you could actually engrave on asset tags and then stick it onto your assets. Tooling, of course, if you were going to engrave tooling, you could um, engrave directly onto the tooling, perhaps a batch number, the date of manufacture, et cetera. So there's always traceability afterwards. Also, the promotional world uses these machines a lot, either for an individual item because they're so easy to position or for very small batches. But I really don't want to have the spotlight. I'm going to hand it over to Francois. Okay. We're first going to go physically at the machinery. As what you said, and you know, we have two possibilities. Offer you the machine in a box, what is limit you, but for specific application is extremely good. Or have an open machine, like what you can see now, will give you the possibility to put larger items, moving the top of the machine to the border, doing engraving on very, very, very big items. And you can, on this machine, get in different size of the lens. What we found out is a lens with a 254 millimeter focal distance and with a motorized access like what you can see now, you still have the possibility to fit an item over 200 millimeter on the need of the machine. You can also add into this machine a rotary attachment, and this rotary attachment will give you the possibility to engraving in cylindrical items up to about 90 millimeter diameter. And with the ring attachment, you can do inside of a ring that you can, in reality, talk into the jewelry market. Above of this one, on this machine, what you need to know is very, very important for us. You need to know uh, you can't use the machine without protecting your house. The, where we're going to run the machine, we're going at this time turn our face because we don't want not to not see him. Uh, and if you need to put in this one in a room where people are passing, we suggest to you uh, organize a system of welding curtains around the machine. That will be part in the full security what you need to be corresponding of all the status of the company at the day of today. Mm -hmm. They're then going to show you some uh, cylindrical items on different product what we have done and sure. you will see we have very big difference between using a CO2 laser and a fiber laser. CO2, fiber. And that's only on the glitter bottles that you get that finish. If you were going to do cylindrical on a normal anodized bottle like our um, black bottles here for example, you would get that shiny silver finish just like on anodized aluminium. Something to know, it's all depending on the composition of the product. Though you will have, unfortunately, to do some testing, perhaps on back of an item or something like that. The beauty is you do not have to use any chemical for any type of metal, right. any alloy included. This is a stainless steel flask, and you can see you get a beautiful black marking immediately. The mark what Lynn's showing you now is an aluminium, and then you will see we have a lighter marking, what is very different, but it's also very nice. We talk a little about the jewelry. We have very small items, but uh, we have got, because the machine mark very, very small, we have got marking some uh, cufflinks. Cufflink. There you have got some ring. Uh, this is a ceramic ring. I don't think you can see, but it's, it's marking tiny. about one millimeter letters on. Uh, we have other uh, this is the fingerprint. Oh, this is a very old bracelet of plastic, and it's marked beautifully. And we do the inside at this time. 
All right. So I think we got to bring you to showing you the machine working. Absolutely. Okay. So we're going to turn our backs to the machine just because that is the correct thing to do. Um, very dangerous for your eyes, as Francois has spoken about. So you can actually see there's the artwork on the machine that we're going to be running. And we are going to run it. Now have a look at how quickly it's going to run. You go. Okay. During the time the machine working, like the first thing what you see is a jigs what has been made just before to handling different product in one world. The first line is stainless steel military tech. The second line will be in reality anodizing aluminium. The third line is a very specific product. No, sorry, the fourth line. The third line is a black anodizing aluminium, which is very often uh, used for asset marking. And the last line is a product which is called Aluply, which is a, one of our products what is an outdoor use anodizing aluminium matte finish or mark black immediately, it's happening now, uh, with the fiber laser and as well on your CO2 laser. It's existing in different thickness and different size that you will refer to our uh, department of sales of consumable. There, at the last scenes, what you will see, I uh, will going and we'll try to mark a tooling for you. This is it. So the speed of the machine is unbelievable. And that's also because it's such a small area that's engraving. Really, really, really fast. And it's one of the absolute USPs of this machine is that speed. Correct, yeah. Francois? It's absolutely correct. What we also wanted to show you, because I think it's very important for many of you, when you can test the material, is in reality all our system came with the format of a grid. Don't know if you can see this one easily. And this grid permits you to choose the coloring of what you need to do it. So you, so you can do that on the different material of what you have. Right here. So here we go. We're ending Hello. up on our tool marking. Right. The so Francois. Tool marking. That what we're going to do is just try to show right. you them perhaps a little right. more quickly. Don't take it off now. It's nearly done. We're oh, just making sorry. it a little bit darker. Yeah, right. Sorry. I was thinking <laughs> you I can see them. Don't, don't worry. Don't watch. Okay, so it's the last that. run it's going just to make it as dark as possible and then we're going to lift them up and show you individually now the top item that military tag has been made especially for my son so i can put it on his key rings because he always forgets to turn the lights off so we've actually custom made that especially for him so it says have you remembered to turn the lights off okay there we go madame last little bit okay no not yet ah still running and that is now permanently marked absolute group yes. it'll never come off will it never come off the only thing what you can do is grinding away look automatically you will see your item has been damaged and you don't have if it's an asset to repair or if it's something was been stolen you will have got the marking you can also mark some plastic exactly the same way because you saw aluminium here we have some plastic beyond you then mm -hmm. uh, if you wanted to see the to showing uh and it's ABS plastic marking and marking some of them from many, many, many years. Slight curve will mark automatically the same way and it will permit to in reality avoiding the people who are coming with some uh, so solvent to removing the, the screen printing what has been marked on the top of some things. You also have the possibility on some plastic to march in some grid. And very important, uh, I think, and will coming more and more important in the future, on some plastic is your date of preemption. You all now you have a date of preemption of a bottle of milk or a bottle of fruit juice. Unfortunately, you can remove that immediately with just on the handy and a little hand. And uh, this laser is absolutely permanent. Right, so there we go. Francois, here you have your military tag. Now we can touch them without no problem. There's your dog tag. I'll apply and this one. And there's okay. our tool. Oop. We don't give me another one. Okay. Sky is a much nicer uh, name uh, anyway. Stanley Steel. Which one? This way? Uh, I don't know if you can see. Now, at this time, the stainless steel is very brown for cleaning this. Oh, the best thing is a, a little polish for the furniture, and you're removing the marking immediately. You anodizing aluminium, and you will get this one on all the color. Your normal also anodizing aluminium, and in this case, you have got your uh, data matrix what's being made. Look, you're really an asset plate, 
what you will do is certainly organizing some acetone tape at the back. And this is our alupli, our anodizing aluminum, black, but really very black. Not what you will get with a MOPA, which will still make you something a little uh, less readable. The look, working at a low cost uh, uh, barcode reader, alupli is your solution. I wanted to show you further. You have got your tooling. Oh, it's hard. Okay, this is very, very, very hot at this place because we mark your tooling. And there you can see we have marked previously our tubing. And then you can see this is a beautiful stainless steel marking. And there, more definitely, we put Trotec everywhere because it's a Trotec machine. <laughs> right, Francois, we're now going to engrave that piece of foil that you have right over there. So one of the things we really want to show you is just how easy positioning is. So over here, we're going to just focus very quickly. It's more or less focused. And what your focus is, you have got a laser pointer and a focus finder with all our machine. At the second of the two points join each other, you are in an exact focus. Yeah, this one's okay. close. We're going to get right here. Okay. And again, more well, is going to be running at the time. What I want during perhaps the time when the machine is running, it's very nice to watch out for you because it's quick. And also, you will see by putting a border, you have an easy facility if you wanted to give any type of uh, stickers to your customer with number and things like that. A little border between, and then we can read it out, and your customer can receive a plate and uh, with the label uh, easy to take out. This material is available in our range with uh, outdoor and indoor with a very wide range of color. Uh, and the size is on the 600 by 300. And you will see this one on the black side. This is exactly the size of the sheet what we have. Okay, so that's nearly finished. It's even kiss cut the sticker for us. So weeding it's is very kiss easy. Kiss cut the and you put an additional line there. We can weeding to show you how easy it is to do. Fantastic. There you go. Do you want to show that? Yeah, I'm going to try. I need to put my eyes personally. So there's Francois weeding out the outside line. So the river's going to apply those stickers afterwards. We'll just simply peel them off and stick them onto whatever asset needs them stuck onto. And that's it. This is a very strong material. It's an outdoor UV stable material. And the glue is extremely strong at the way. But you have certainly see the levels and see the and more the than what you have between and the details of your barcode. You can mark in all your assets and much more. Right, so we spoke earlier about some deep engraving. We've actually placed it here so you can actually see it properly. Um, Peter will be just popping on the camera for us. Francois, are you going to let us know? Because Francois did the painting on this, so we'll give her the glory for it. <laughs> okay. Madame well, what we've done, we've done some deep engraving on aluminium. Can be done on my steel. I put you on the side here, yeah, some a very small item what has been done. If it's something for like uh, to make an embossing tool, what you can do it, uh, use a mask steel, but remember the heat treatment come after, otherwise you will not mark it. But uh, if you're looking at the depth, what you have been, it's perhaps for you to have, do the best way to looking here. You have the marking here mm -hmm. with the line, and this is now when it's filled with different color. The possibility is endless at this level. Right. Now, so one of the, okay, yeah. the, the best parts about this machine is your ability to position, especially when you're doing an individual item. You don't have to first work it out, get it straight, make a jig, etc. We can actually show you exactly how easy it is. And we're going to be using my teaspoon for this because at rubber stamp and engraving, this is an asset and it will never last long in any kitchen. So we're going to show you how we can actually do this. So we need to put it down. We need to make sure it's focused. Right, I will come and I will type in my text as this is my teaspoon. We will mark it as Lynn. All right, I'm gonna push add. Right here, we're gonna get the border line on so that we can actually see it. 
Once that shows up, we will just position the teaspoon according to the borderline. I think our teaspoon will be very small. Um, choose the material we need to do. And we're going to engrave it. Again, we are not going to look. Hang on one second, Peter. All right here. And we are going to execute that. So give us a moment while we push this button. And that is it. It is almost done. Luckily, I don't have a long name. If Correct. you have put mine, it will be a lot much better. No, but then I have to give you my teaspoon, and that's a tragedy. Right. And there, it is done. As simple as that, I now have my very own teaspoon, which is fantastic. Now, thinking about the hospitality industry, thinking about the people who use a lot of cutlery, they are going and they do catering for people, uh, they can be marked very, very easily. And you can mark definitely uh, a lot of other products. We have some customers who mark uh, some production line also with this. Another part where it's very important for us, you need to know, it's all the medical field. And at the day of today, with uh, this uh, COVID, we have marked uh, ourselves, uh, our dispenser. For hand sanitizer. What you can see. And this the, is all over the building. So we have really, very really proud of our group. The plastic marking, and you can see the beauty of the contrast of color. I have here a little uh, toy where this is a scalpel and the scalpel made uh, with a handle in plastic. The plastic is marked and in the same operation, you have a data matrix code on the blade stainless steel. The same way we mark uh, very quickly, unfortunately it's extremely small and uh, all what is used in any hospital level, look, you have a very small barcode. We can see that in. little QR code. It's QR code, sorry. It's minute. Absolutely amazing that this machine can give you that detail. Isn't that right? It is, absolutely. And it's not all. It's plenty of other mm. stuff. Just want to quickly, uh, a lot of people will say now we have been metal and some plastic. In the range of engraving laminate, when you're using a CO2 laser, you still have got quite a wide beam here with this unbelievable machinery you will have a reverse engraving of a very small elephant i don't know if you will manage to see something oh with yes the perfect they ever look the details and this we is made of the fiber not really better. Yeah, the, light, the light is better, I think. Mm -hmm. so you can mark a lot of more products. Nice you can mark example. a letter, you can mark some textile. It's a different type of light. It doesn't burn. So thinks about the sunshine and put something outside, you will have a contrast of color. Wood is marking with this fiber laser that you give a different finish. To be very important. We're now going to show you, before say bye-bye, uh, a polycarbonate card. The polycarbonate has a beauty. It's marked beautifully black contrast. But we have plenty of people who will use ABS. Be careful, okay. is a lot of ABS with different quality, and they will not always give you the same contrast, the color, but they will be fully readable. Right. So if you can see, we now have a border on the same polycarbonate card. We position it to make sure it's as straight as possible. Now, when you're engraving one item, I'm sure you all agree that this is going to make your life a lot easier. So there we go. We're ready to go. Francois, we're we looking away. And off we go. Now, watching how incredibly fast this is. If Imagine if you were making an ID card for someone. You could even do a photograph on this um, with the staff number, the job title, what building they're in, whatever information is required for your security. So there we go, finished. How amazing was that? And with this quality, you can see photographs will actually be so easy. Doug, we're waiting for your question. We're we waiting are. for what, how can we help you more? I know Peter's been answering them as we've been speaking. So I think, Peter, are we done with questions? We are indeed. Please let us know if you need anything else. But thank you for spending this time with us. Send us your requests. Send us your questions. We're ready to answer those. And enjoy a wonderful weekend. Absolutely. Thank you. And goodbye Bye. from both of us. Bye.